Kristen Stanford and I'm here on behalf of the Lake Erie Water Snake Recovery Program. I've served as the Recovery Plan Coordinator for the past 10 years and I'm here to report that we have successfully delisted the Lake Erie Water Snake. It became the 23rd species to be removed from the list of federally threatened and endangered animals um, just this past Tuesday, August 16th, I believe. And we've, over the past 10 or 12 years now, we've worked really hard on uh, achieving several of our recovery goals. The first was uh, our overall population size, which needed to exceed 5,555 snakes for five consecutive years. And we have more than exceeded that. In fact, um, some years we've actually doubled um, the number of snakes that we have here on the islands. One of these things that I was going to look to see if anybody, if any scientists had ever record, recorded that actually. The second thing that we needed to do was achieve a habit, an overall amount of habitat protection here on the islands. And through working with a lot of our partners, such as the Lake Erie Islands Chapter, the Black Swamp Conservancy, Putin Bay Park District, and of course, Division of Wildlife, we were able to uh, successfully conserve the overall amount of habitat we needed here on the islands. And the last thing, which was probably the most challenging, but also the most fun, especially for me, since I got to do a lot of it, was our outreach and education program. We needed to reduce the overall amount of human-induced mortality to these water snakes, which was one of the major uh, reasons why the snake was listed to begin with. And through uh, our conservation program, through doing um, interactive programs with snakes of all uh, species here on the islands. Uh, we were able to change people's minds and attitudes to the point where um, we determined that they were no longer of, of threat to people going out and, and mass killing them.